Well, hello, everybody. Thanks for the chance to share our work. My name is Raj Bhavle, and I'm the founder of Young Mountain Tea. And here at Young Mountain Tea, we are in the business of changing the world of tea, this little drink right here, which has an increasingly large hole in the market. And this drink is the world's most consumed beverage, trailing only water in global consumption. And here in the US, uh, it, the specialty segment is the fastest growing part of the market. And the growth of this $3.1 billion segment is being fueled by a new wave of value-driven consumers that are looking for two things, supply chain transparency, so they know where their teas are coming from, and authentic stories of impact for the farmers that are involved. Right now, however, tea companies are unable to meet consumer needs because they source from long, opaque supply chains that lead back ultimately to massive corporate-owned estates. So what we have is an increasing need that's not being met in the fastest growing segment of the world's most consumed beverage. We fill that gap with a simple solution. We bridge the divide between the farmers and the tea drinkers, working with farmers to raise the quality of their tea so they can earn more, while also creating a transparent supply chain that brings new exciting teas into the market. And we sell these organic uh, loose leaf teas to three types of customers. Uh, they're all value driven and we've crafted these personas based on pouring tea to literally thousands of people at festivals, at demos, and then uh, validating these personas through surveys and regularly uh, interviewing uh, different members of the community. And uh, our top performing customers right now are people that buy over a thousand dollars of tea every single year from us. And so for these people, these are the dedicated diehard tea drinkers who don't think of tea as just a drink, but truly as a way of life. Uh, it's a personal ritual for them. It's medicine for them. Through the friends in the tea world, there's a strong community of tea drinkers and it's a connection to the wider world. And so this is the target community that we go after. And we've got a lot of momentum among them. We're on pace to uh, increase our sales by more than 100% for the second consecutive year. And we've secured uh, our first wholesale account to cross over $100,000. In addition to that, our gross margin is 45%, which is, uh, puts a business in a position to be profitable as soon as we hit the scale that we're after. And speaking of scale, here's a roadmap for what we're doing. Uh, you can see the sales figures. Uh, the first two figures are, are where we've been, and then the future figures are where we're headed. Uh, and we're going to reach these points by launching new products, including blends that will go live in October, and then tea bags in the middle of next year. Uh, our sales strategy is built around delivering on the two things that consumers want, transparency and impact. Our brand of sales are going to provide us the transparency to tell the story of the farmers and the ingredients direct to the customer as well as get margin, uh, while the bulk gives us the ability to deliver on the impact that needs to be authentic for to resonate with consumers and then also the economies of scale um, necessary to have reduced shipping and inventory purchasing costs. And the centerpiece of our sales strategy is to launch tea bags mid next year that are going to be aimed at institutions that have committed to the real food challenge, which is an initiative aimed at shifting institutional purchasing towards sourcing for more sustainable vendors. And there's more than 180 universities and over 800 hospitals that have committed to that challenge, including the entire University of California uh, system. And right now there's only a handful of tea companies that are in the database that are qualified to sell. And we feel we can definitely outperform them based on what they offer. Uh, right now, this is the team. There's five of us on board. Uh, I'm the founder, and I started Young Mountain Tea when I was on a Fulbright Fellowship in Northern India. Uh, I was working with rural farmers there to figure out how they could gain access to international markets. And since then, we've been building the company. And uh, this is my life's work to build a bridge between these two cultures. And it's really, truly a joy to work with the team uh, that's on board to make that uh, mission become a reality. Right now, we're raising $600,000 to reach profitability by the middle of 2023. We're going to use these funds to hire our first dedicated salesperson who I'll work with to implement the brand strategy that I mentioned, starting with universities. We're also going to be launching new product lines. Um, again, in October, we're going to put up our first blends and tea bags are uh, going to come live in the middle of next year. And then finally, we'll need some additional working capital to purchase our inventory uh, to scale with the, uh, the revenue. Uh, in short, our goal is to become the Patagonia, oh, excuse me, uh, our goal is to become the Patagonia of tea, using a top quality product to shift consumer behaviors towards more sustainable food systems. And our exit strategy is built on establishing Young Mountain Teas as thought leaders in the sustainable agricultural space. 
developing trade relationships with the largest tea companies in the country, which are already underway, and then get acquired by one of these larger companies that are looking to gain an exciting and youthful brand that has an army of diehard customers in love with both the quality of our teas and the mission that it represents. And we hope that you'll join us in that journey. Thank you for the chance to share our work. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions that you have.